Huh? Why does Saturn have so many moons? Firstly, Saturn is the second largest planet in our solar system, with a strong gravitational pull that can capture passing <laughs> objects like asteroids and comets and turn them into moons. Hmm. Secondly, during the solar system's formation, Saturn's massive size allowed it to accumulate a large amount of material in its orbit. Some of these chunks of rock and ice coalesced into moons over time. Hmm. Lastly, it is believed that Saturn's early moons may have shattered into pieces after colliding or straying too close to Saturn. Hmm. Huh? What color is Jupiter? Firstly, the color of Jupiter changes with storms and wind in its atmosphere. White huh? spots indicate cool storms. Brown spots indicate warm storms and red spots indicate hot storms. Secondly, Jupiter's outer atmosphere is made up of mostly hydrogen and helium, with huh? small amounts of other elements like water droplets, ice crystals and ammonia crystals. When these elements form clouds, they create shades of white, orange, brown and red. Why are some planets called terrestrial? The word terrestrial comes from the Latin word terra, which means Earth. Terrestrial planets are made of rocks and metals and have a central metallic core surrounded by a mantle of silicate rocks and minerals. The mantle is usually the largest part of the planet by volume. Terrestrial planets also have landforms like cliffs, valleys, volcanoes, and craters. The four terrestrial planets in our solar system are the four innermost planets. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Hmm. Huh? What is the Jupiter's great red spot? Jupiter's great red huh? spot is a giant storm that is about 1.3 times the size of Earth. It is located in the Jupiter's southern hemisphere. Winds inside the Great Red Spot can reach speeds of up to 400 miles per hour. The Great Red Spot rotates counterclockwise, indicating that it's a high-pressure system. The Great Red Spot's long lifetime may be due to Jupiter's gaseous composition and lack of a solid surface to dissipate the storm's energy. Mm. <laughs> Why is Jupiter called as the Earth Protector? Jupiter is sometimes called Earth's protector because of its large gravitational field, which deflects comets and asteroids that might otherwise hit Earth. However, some research suggests that Jupiter's influence may work both ways. For example, Jupiter's gravity can sometimes pull objects into its gravity well, and other times it can slingshot them into the inner solar system. In fact, some simulations suggest that Jupiter's presence may actually increase the likelihood of an impact with an asteroid or comet. 